got a big bag, let me take that Show me where your friends at, we can take that Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game Show me where your red at, where the blue at Show me where they flip that, where they bitch at Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game your boy Alex and I want to talk to you guys really quick about a red flag that people very rarely mention to men but this is a huge one but before I tell you it let me paint the background by telling you a story I went out with this shorty one time I took her to a place called Punch Bowl Social okay which is basically like Dave and Buster's there's a bunch of arcade games there there's drinks there's food there's pool there's bowling stuff like that good first date spot so I take her there we get ready to leave she grabs my arm and she goes no man has ever done anything like this for me before and I'm like, what, take you to play games? She's like, well, no, it's not the playing games. It's you're paying for everything. And I'm just saying, that's really sweet. No man has really done that for me before. Guys, red flag, okay? Red flag. Unless you're going out of your way to impress a woman, which you shouldn't be doing on a first date, which obviously by the place I just described, I was not doing. She's impressed by that. That is a red flag. That is a woman whose self-esteem is in the toilet. That is a woman who is used to the absolute bare minimum, and you do not want to be Captain Save a Ho to that. Let me tell you something. If she says no one has ever done this for me before, that means you're doing too much. I repeat, if she says no one has ever done this for me before, that means you're doing too much. That's why no one has ever done it for her before. Besides the fact that her self-esteem is in the toilet to even be in relationships where you've had dealings with men who weren't doing very minimum things like taking her on a date and paying for it, you have to wonder about the V-Box. See, if she's not a virgin, okay, that means she's giving up the V-Box to dudes who don't even take her out and pay for everything. She's giving up her most prized possession to dudes who aren't even taking her out and paying for everything. Let me tell you something. Any woman above the age of 18, and I'm really being nice for 18, should have been taken out to nice spots on the pocket of a man, on the dime of a man before. It's deep-rooted self-esteem issues that you do not want to deal with if a woman hasn't dealt with that before. And chances are, whatever men she was dealing with, even deeper than just the self-esteem issues, there's probably mental abuse that was going on, there was probably emotional abuse that was going on, and in the worst-case scenario, he might have been delivering the sweet chin music, he might have been delivering the DDT, he might have been delivering the people's elbow drop on her. So there's probably physical abuse that was going on too and then even deeper than all that you got to think how is it what is it about you your situation how you grew up where you lived your reputation or whatever that made these dudes feel like you weren't taken off in the first place that you weren't worth taking out in the first place because please believe if she was fine as hell dudes just taking her out okay she was cool as hell dudes just taking her out okay she had a good reputation dudes just taking her out she got to wonder like are you a bird are you a hoe are you known in the streets are you ugly am i missing something like what's going on here what is it that i'm missing are you a bad person what is it that i'm missing are you cheating what is it that I'm missing I'm missing something here that something as simple as paying to take you on another date dudes aren't doing this for you I don't understand it and then the fourth reason why you don't want to be that guy besides everything else that I said is because she's gonna do one of two things and both of them are negative she's either gonna get attached and be super clingy and start treating you like your prince charming and you can do no wrong she's gonna have over realistic expectations for the rest of y'all entire relationship she's always gonna expect top-notch treatment you gonna set the bar super high she's gonna think I'm gonna get married she's gonna think she's gonna see heart bubbles and thighs and roses and rings and weddings and all this extra stuff at any time you do anything wrong or that reminds her of her past she's gonna go absolutely ape shit because she could be like oh, i thought you was the one or because she's not even used to being treated like a human being because paying to take a woman on a date is just basic level treatment it's nothing fantastic it's nothing you should be impressed by because you're treating her like a human being and you're not even trying to be nice you're just being your goddamn self you just took her to play games you just took her to nando's you just took her to fridays you just took her bowling you didn't even do nothing extra but because she's not used to being treated like a human being she don't think you a simp just for being a decent person 
just for being a real man. Now she's going to start taking advantage of you. Now she's going to start talking to you crazy. Listen, guys, there is no positive that comes out of making a simple first date with a woman and her telling you, oh, my God, nobody's ever done this before me before. The only time a woman should be telling you no one's ever done something for her before is if you're already in a relationship. And at that point, you're obviously attempting and trying to outdo any other man she's ever been with. If y'all are just going on a basic, simple first date, there's nothing that you should be doing on that basic, simple first date that will make a woman say, oh my God, no one's ever done this for me before. Nothing. It's pretty much nothing you should be doing, especially if you weren't aiming to do that, which you shouldn't be doing on the first date, which is all about getting to know each other. That is a red flag. That is a big sign of a woman with low self-esteem. That is a big sign of a woman who has type mental problems going on, probably was abused in the past, it's gonna have ridiculous expectations, Get out of there, run. That's a major flag that I very rarely hear talked about, but I'm telling you guys, if you go forward with that woman, it's going to be hell for you on multiple different levels and fronts. Get out of there, run ASAP. Remember Alex told you, and I'm out. Peace.